Hello and welcome back. In this part of the video, we're going to be dealing how to add second level of branches to our trees, how to add leaves, how to get the correct shape of leaves in a way that we can change the shape later on using any uh, shader leaves and how to unwrap UVs such that no matter what shape of the tree we use, our UV unwrapping remains more or less intact. So from here, uh, we need to actually get the idea of these plants. So again, for the sake of naming, I'm going to call this one a spline, which is level one spline. And this is what we are going to do. Uh, what we're going to be using so let's just drag it here and give it a let's just bring this here connect this to this and connect this here so we have a bunch of points uh, set this up number of branches we need more clearly so we're going to reduce this number to point one one is fine add a solidifier here this radius can go into this one perhaps we need to add a math here set to multiply that multiplies with this also yeah, so we have a multiply that considers the spline radius from the level 1 and then considers the spline radius coming from here. The length is too much, so we need to make it 0.5 maybe. So top distance, this brings them back. Yeah, so this is, this is great. Uh, let's uh, length of this has to be shorter uh, 0.1 I think uh, yeah I think I think we're good dish right now as for the radius now the final thing 2 max not 0 uh, we want to set it to 0 0.05 0 0.005 so that there is always some geometry to work with and length multiplier can also go down a little bit yeah so 0.15 I think is the sweet spot a plane and in that plane I'm going to be using an image texture of a leaf and next time if I need a different leaf then I'll choose a different leaf in the image texture so if this is here we want our district we want our object that looks like this and i know my drawing does not make them look like leaves but they are leaves okay so uh, i already have this made because of course i made it before i started showing you guys how to actually made it uh, how to actually make it so let's just command F4, append, and this is my object right here. And I'm going to bring it. And here, if you can see, this is the way the basic geometry looks. It's square planes, basically, five, uh, six of them on a curved mesh. And if we go into the shaded view this is what it is because I have already put an image texture there with all these uh, normals and height maps and all these things but one thing that I've done is that the base color I have kept a non color and then I've multiplied it with a color uh, of my choice so basically this allows me that if in tomorrow's project I want to import this tree and I don't want this green I want a blue colored leaf or I want to make alien plants with you know 
or whatever color I want like right now so let's just set it to a pink I think I really love would love to have some pinkish hues cool and the shade for this uh, stem which is just a green and brown uh, mix sort of a color which gives it this we can make it more towards the brown I think a little bit so this is the object uh, anyways let's get back to our geometry nodes and see how we can use this object to produce leaves free sample here based on the length of 0.2 and then just connect it to an output over here and this will be our leaf density so we have a recent pearl curve we have instance on point what we need is an object or a geometry make this invisible and bring this here as a collection now if we just connect it to this you can see everything is pointing upwards so first thing we need to fix is the scale and the number and of course the rotation first things first let's uh, reduce the number of leaves a little bit so I think point three is fine uh, for the sake of it uh, for the sake of uh, understanding it and the next thing we want to do is we want to apply the rotation and for that we can just use the rotation that we have uh, already created for our other instancing and we connect it this way and as you can see we already have a very good sort of a representation but the scale is too much uh, so for the scale what we will do is uh, let me just clean this up a little <coughs> the scale is going to be of course a factor of the splines right so if this is one branch uh, the scale the leaves will be slightly bigger at the end and slightly smaller towards the close <coughs> to do that uh, we will plug in a random value uh, no, actually, we'll plug in a map range. And this is going to be float, not a vector. It looks going to be unclamped. And we will connect this to our spline parameter factor. And the two minimum and the two maximum, we can just play with it to say that the branches are bigger at the top. So this is giving us the end branches, right? So end branches we want them to be smaller and the mid branches we want them to be thicker, uh, bigger. <coughs> I think I'm happy with what I've created till now. Okay guys, so now we are in the final part of our tutorial where we are applying materials. And we do have a material for our leaf which is given from our object itself. Uh, but in order to give the material to the bark, I want to do a UV unwrapping first and I want to do a geometry nodes unwrapping because Blender 3.3 gives us that option. So what I've done is our main procedural tree that we had here. I've added a smooth uh, sort of whatever it's called modifier on top of it. Uh, this is optional you don't need to do it but I've done it. And then I've added a new, another geometry node modifier called UV mapping. So we're going to be working on the UV mapping today. And how we're going to do this is by separating the geometry, cutting it in half and then joining it again and then unwrapping. I think that might be a good way to do it. But we will see if we get any harsh edges or seams, which we don't want. Again, uh, this, this, uh, these nodes are very new. So I might be wrong here in the way that I'm unwrapping this for this particular object and if you feel so then please feel free to guide me so what we need to do is add a few nodes here delete geometry and we're not going to delete everything what we are going to delete is a greater than or equal to and we're going to use the normal which is a float value to separate x 
on the surface normal so as you can see our tree is cut in half and this is what we're getting now we need to invert this so we will add a math subtract from uh, one so we can clean this up maybe or no not because this is going to be a really short note tree uh, I'm not going to bother cleaning this up but we have our two separated geometries if we cut this one we have this and if we cut this one we have this so now uh, we need to add a capture attribute I think we should we would be getting some doubling up here yeah see we are getting some doubling up okay so for that we will get a capture attribute we want to capture a I'm gonna put it here and we'll capture a vector the vector that we are going to be using is the UV unwrap and we plug that vector over here and call it UV UV unwrap and we go into the outputs here and call it tree UV. Here it's a vector value uh, based on face corners I believe and now we need to see if our UV map is giving us anything. We need to apply the material over here. So let's give it PBR tree and we do have a material uh, it is looking nice is it uv unwrapped if we find a seam then it is yeah it is yeah it is it is it is so i think this and this since i'm getting the same i have the uv unwrapped so the next order of business here is to animate this tree and I think before that, I'm just going to group this, call it leaves. So we want to obviously apply the animation only on the leaves. So for that, uh, we can do something. And this should offset the leaves completely. We don't want to offset them, we just want to jiggle them around their axis. So that is rotate instances. So the pivot point is the, is I think the position. And the rotation is given by a combine XYZ. And we can just plug in factors to see X is taking it up y is taking it um y is sort of doing its thing right and z is also doing its thing right so x can be we can connect it to a value zero and this just stays locked so we know we don't have to edit it now if this were to be connected to a value that frame so now we can set a uh, controller for this divide um, big number here but I think 100 is a good number so let's group this and call it wind animation I think there's only one thing we can need to connect and that is this so let's set it to 30 and playback then we come here, we set it to 50, and that's too palatable. That is our tree. So now, this is basically all of the tutorial. Um, we're going to take a quick look at our entire node tree and see what we have done in this tutorial. So, uh, we started with a simple spline, added a trimming proportion that allows us to grow it. And then we added a bark, solidifying the main spline that became our bark. Then we added level 1 branches which were instances on this spline. 
we solidified them then we added level 2 branches instances on this spline then we solidified them and on those we instance leaves and wind animation on leaves so overall this is a long tutorial uh, but the benefit is that now if i go into 3d viewport and i want to construct a scene let's let's just try to construct a quick scene around this so uh, i've set up this basic scene now and what i've changed here is that earlier we were in filmic log uh, and this was due to my default settings of the blender startup file uh, so let's change that to filmic and now let's just relook at the colors again uh, what what I've done is uh, basically I have set up the scene uh, like so I've added the noise uh, here and there added another plane that gives us our ocean sort of thing uh, or some water rather, rather not ocean and then I've just placed it here and for the camera I have uh, put up an empty and parented my camera to the empty and this just gives me a nice rotation and this is the first camera uh, I'm gonna set up a few more cameras uh, to uh, you know visualize this for the tutorial and YouTube and sort of make a package out of this entire video series uh, but this is uh, more or less what we are looking at more or less we're done with the scene the only thing I want to do is make the colors a little better right now the pinks are too deep in this tree and uh, we're gonna fix that by going into our shader and we have used a color for the stem and this color we're gonna alter to something a little more brighter and a little less saturated so let's increase the brightness like this so they're almost white sometimes reflecting the sun and they're a little less saturated say 0.3 yeah that looks a little bit more realistic yeah so i think that's about it and so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it or i hope you got to learn something from whatever i've learned over the past few months using blender and the file uh, this particular blend file i'm going to be uploading uh, to gumroad for free and it's not perfect uh, but i believe uh, i'm going to improve it over the uh, you know subsequent renders that i make with it and i will realize uh, where it's falling short based on the scenarios that i use this tree in and then we can you know maybe have an improved file maybe let's say a few weeks down the line but right now it's available and those of you who follow this tutorial completely will be able to uh, kind of add your own twist to it and do it your way and that is what my attempt is so thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed it do subscribe if you like my content see you next time